Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87, and this is Let's Play Ye7 Part 29. In the previous video, the game and I, uh, we got divorced. We're, we're not, it's not official yet, but we are no longer in love. We're just staying together until the kids get out of college, um, and go out to, uh, live on their own. I, we're gonna finish the game, but the last boss, uh, I'm not really mad about it right now because it's been a little while since we beat it, but, uh, kind of just an insulting boss, IMO. But, let's, uh, let's go to the palace. I still do mostly like the game overall, like, it's still better than E6, which I, I know doesn't really mean much. But, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of, like, ready to be done with the game, I think, is what I kind of realized during that last fight. Like, I think it's overstated its welcome a little bit. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. They said go back to the palace, I thought, but, like, who am I talking to? I mean, I would assume I'm talking to Moon Guy, but I'm pretty sure they said go to the palace. And my map says go to the palace. But I don't know where Moon Guy is. Is he in Old Town? Or did, or did they say go to the palace? I thought they said go to the palace. I Man, I didn't see him in the throne area. Some of the other knights are still alive as well. Good, good. As long as you survive, we'll be able to reinstate the Dragon Knights one day. One thing I will say this game I do I really enjoy. To be positive, I like all the NPC talking and conversations and just the general, like, vibe of the world. That's very well done. The story, I'm still, like, I mean... It's there. Is, is maybe the... I mean, I don't think it's atrocious. I just think it's kind of, like, boring and a little bland. Are you in here? Where to, where to moon at? Glad to see so many survivors today. I was really concerned there'd barely be anyone left. I noticed Fatima's upstairs speaking with Executioner Ursa, who just arrived from the Coliseum. I mean, I always forget about the upper level. Hey, wanna go to where your dad died? No, you ain't about that? Yeah, I probably wouldn't wanna go there either, at least not immediately. I'm in charge of cleaning the place. I love cleaning, but not when the usual dust and muddy footprints are replaced with blood and corpses. I deserve hazard pay. Oh, you guys seen Fatima? We we're only able to survive because we hid in Princess Aisha's room. We're sorry we entered your room without permission, Your Highness. We'll be sure to clean it thoroughly. No, no, it's okay. There's no need to be worried about formalities given what just happened. I'm glad you're okay. We've lost enough good men and women. Every survivor is a blessing. Thank you, Princess. Your kind words are greatly appreciated. Okay, this is an actual room. For some reason, I've been thinking this was like a balcony for the throne room. But I guess it's a, it's a real room. But like, you're not going to help me. You're not the moon lord. Oh, you're alive. Welcome back. Glad to see everybody in tip-top shape. Of course you are, Grandma. We're practically invincible. No. We even got the power of the great sea dragon. Right, Adol? Adol explained to Fatima what happened to the Sea Sanctum. Interesting. There are certainly some things the Great Sea Dragon said that are a bit unnerving. Can't say I fully understand all of it, though. Our Great Dragons need to stop speaking in such cryptic subtleties. Like, just because you're aware that the writing is infuriating doesn't make it less infuriating. I'm, I'm just going to say. Speaking of cryptid, ha have you seen a dude around? I haven't run into him yet. Something seems to have happened at the Hidden Village. Said he had to go back. It's me. I'm a fairy. We finally found you. Uh, he sent us here with an urgent message. Urgent? Did something happen? We don't quite understand it. But the pillar in the hidden village suddenly began emitting light. What? The incredibly suspicious pillar that looked exactly like all the other stone altars was important? Who could have seen this coming? You mean the one in the center? 
The one that looked like all the other entrances to Sanctums? Adol, we should go check it out. Hey, Adol! The, the more the game lets me say, hey, Adol, the more I like it. All right? I'll give it that. I'll give it that. But yeah, right now, I would rank Yi 7 as better than 6, but I don't like it as much as Celseta. That is, that is currently where we're at. Which is more of an indictment of Yi 6 than a, <laughs> a praise of this game. I mean, like, I don't know. Celseta was, like, fine. Now, the biggest indictment I have of uh, Celseta is that I don't remember the final boss. Which is, I mean, that's, that's a, that really means a lot. Because I actually really like all the final bosses in, like, every other Yeast game. Like, even Yeast 6s is, like, kind of good. The only problem with it is just the stupid lasers that do, like, a third of your HP if you get hit by them in the first phase. So it's just really annoying if you get hit a single time, you're just like, you may as well pack it up. What was I going to say? Because like, I, I legitimately, I do not remember the final boss of Yeast 4. I mean, like, I know you fight, like, Claw Man and, like, on the volcano, but that's not the real final boss fight. There's something before that, and I don't remember. It's like, basically, I remember that really cool fight where you fight, I mean, this is spoilers for Celseta, I guess, by the way. Um, the really cool fight where you fight, like, you know, evil Eldeal, which feels like it should be the final boss, but it's not. Like, that fight's really cool, was my favorite in the game. And then everything after that has just been, like, blocked from my memory. It's like, as far as I'm concerned, like, the game ended there. I know there's, like, a whole entire dungeon after that. I have no memory of it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's shining real pretty-like. Not oh, good, you returned sooner than I expected. Seems you were able to meet the great sea dragon. Oh yeah, we should go try and uh, fight that other boss, since we've gotten like a, quite a lot of levels since last time, since we did Sagram. I had to explain what happened at the Sea Sanctum to dude, man. I now understand why the pillar's been giving off light. And why would that be? You tell me, guys, having you been paying attention, this is your final test. And then I will grant you the ability to truly use a magic spell. Illuminate! The most powerful of spells. You're ever in a room, and it's a little dark, you say, Illuminate! And then the room is not so dark anymore. Yes, quite powerful, I know. My ancient arc mage ways uh, would... Baffle the minds of someone less intelligent than me. In meeting the sea dragon, Adol has fulfilled all the conditions. It's been said that this pillar merely sustains the hidden village. It seems this pillar was the real altar connected to the great moon dragon. Oh yeah, now you mentioned it, it does look exactly like all the other uh, altars that we had to enter into. Adol, can you feel the presence of a dragon? I don't know, man. I had a strong sense of dragon energy emitting from the pillar. Oh, it's true. You can see the last dragon then. Yes, but there's one problem. No one in this village knows the incantation needed to reveal the way. Uh, how have you tried Good Night Moon? Starry Night, Star Bright, on this altar, I wish tonight. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. The incantations that open the way to the sanctums are known only by the elders of each tribe. Well, I don't know, don't they? Yeah, they should help us out then. Hey, Atia, I know you're probably listening because you have, uh, you like read the script or whatever. Uh, could you like teleport here real quick and say the magic phrase for us and then teleport away? Because, uh, you're doing the classic, uh, the enemy evil guy lets hero do all the things because they don't think the hero can stop them. And then the hero stops them in the end. Whoa. That's just great. Isn't there somewhere you can find it? Yeah. That all. We're gonna have to do the impossible again. 
We're going to have to read. God damn. I promised I'd never do that again. Adol, after uh, the events of Yeast 1 and 2, Adol said he's never going to touch a damn book again. <laughs> he's finally going to have to break that promise. Look at the crest that's appeared upon the altar. It's a heart sing. Makes my heart sing. <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, there's a reason that's funny, but I don't want to go into it. It's like something that's just waiting to happen. Like, it can stir at any moment. Keep your distance and be safe. Uh, Dragon Warrior, so you finally come. As you can see, it's a strange sight. Perhaps even... This is some... Okay, so the reason that makes my heart sing, it makes me laugh, is that it's like some old tweet from the uh, Elon Musk where he said, I love music, it makes my heart sing, which is just such a fucking insane thing to say. Like, it, it sounds like something that, like, a, not a real person would say. And just the phrase, makes my heart sing, uh, has stuck with me. Just for how dumb the statement, I love music, it makes my heart sing is. I mean, it sounds like something a three-year-old would say, and you're like, oh, you know, kids say the darndest things, but instead it was posted by, like, you know, a 50-year-old man. No one among us knows the incantation. Or so some sort of... Oh, yeah, because we have the moon thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how that's going to help us, but... It opened. Tia Serapin, but why? I don't know, because reasons. Among Iskian arts, there are known to be methods that can instill an object with a person's spirit. That hairpin must have been passed down amongst the elders for many generations. An object of such a lineage may have been imbued with enough spiritual power to take the place of the incantation. Oh, yeah, think we should go check on uh, Maya. Or see if we can find her. Because it's like, I don't know, there is a part of me that's like, kind of just wants to like, speed things along and finish the game. But, you know, I have enjoyed the NPC conversation, so maybe we should still try and check in on that stuff. Either way, if we can get to the Moon Sanctum now, so thank goodness for small blessings, I guess. Last Sanctum, the last dragon stone, the power to stop the wind of destruction. Alright, and if Tia's the Elgis of Visco, there's no way the Moon Dragon doesn't know all about her. He'll know what Tia's planning to do. They all know what's going on, they're just not telling us. I heard the Moon Dragon is special, even among the five dragons. Is it probably because he has the coolest name by far? Would you rather be like, ooh, I'm Earth? Or would you rather be the Moon? I mean, like, yeah, Earth is bigger, but like, the Moon is cooler. We should ask what role the Dragon Warrior plays in all this, and why he's been sent on this Dragon Quest. Elk. Please, our lawyers. The Moon Dragon's trial will be the last one we face. Frankly, I have no idea what's waiting for us. We should make sure we're as ready as we can be before we go. It just teleports us to the moon and we asphyxiate and die instantly. And alright, let's go back and see if we can find Maya or the Doctor and everyone. You know, we've been doing our due diligence the entire game. Let's not, you know, cut too much corners here at the end. Here with Grandma, the place really okay. It's a really strong old building. Okay, it seems like some of you guys still have the same dialogue. But I don't know if there's going to be a follow-up with that, like, Rod cutscene or not, potentially. Like, I don't know if that's something that's going to get, like, a real follow-up in the story, or if it's, like... There's like a scene if we were to go investigate somewhere. I don't really remember where they said they're keeping everyone. I guess in the palace. I don't know what's happening. Frankly, it doesn't even matter. We got jobs to do. Plus, ours is with us. She lives with this kind of stimulation, so there's no reason to panic. We're professionals. You came in through the fog. No? You got some serious zeal, boy. Your lungs just be on fire. You're able to drive them off, and then the blast of fog starts seeping in. Don't open any doors. You're the one that feeds the beast. Are you well? Fortunately, the execution nurse is out. Okay, no doors for me. Two into the palace. Apparently, the elders of their villages are having a meeting. Dalion! Oh, 
the greatest three of all time ago. Mr. Zanzibar gave us some of his scarlet crystals after strong insistence from the clergy. It was coercion, really. We were hoping Mr. Zanzibar would be more willing to help us at a time like this, but... He just kept yelling about his quarterly profits. No, we can't do any more than this. We already suffered great losses by giving you those scarlet crystals. Go away. Talk about ridiculous. I was fools in the temple to call my scarlet crystals. Whatever I have monopoly of crystals in a situation like this, join a force against me like that. That's what I sound like now, because I'm so mad. I think I can, uh... Afford the thingy? No, I'll never afford the thingy. Okay. I don't know what this is, but you already have a good skill. You don't need many good skills. You only need one good skill. I will never use Dogi and Geiss willingly. I mean, Geiss may be good, potentially. I don't know, but I just can't be bothered. I didn't even think about you could sell this stuff. I think that sells for a billion dollars. I mean, it's theoretical we could afford the Airy Seal. And there are these that seem very strong, but like, I don't know, they seem almost like a little too strong. We'll see. Maybe for the final boss. I get dunked on too hard and I'm like I just want to be done with the game then maybe I will never use an item but an accessory is not an item kind of anybody on the throne room oh, so her hairpin was the key wasn't this can art's a fascinating thing indeed she left it on purpose and she was either leaving her previous life behind, or, well, six of one, half a dozen of the other. That's my line. Either way, you need to go be with the Moon Dragon. I don't want to be with the Moon Dragon. Ah, uh, it's you, the ones who escaped from my clutches. I heard the full story, and I'm prepared to offer my services. All this talk about dragons and deadly rites of destruction. I can't quite wrap my whip around it, but no matter. Whatever's going on, it's not good, and I do so hate being left out of the action. I don't think the ordeal is over just yet. Okay. You don't want to join the party? We could use a Whip Lord. Maybe. I don't know. Whips are cool. I like whips as weapons in uh, video games. Mustafa, well, didn't expect to run into you here. Did you come to see how Father's doing? Do not misunderstand. I merely have something to ask the former Elder Sagran. But of course, he has not yet awoken. He is useless as usual. How can you say that when he's obviously suffered such horrible injuries? Uh, he abandoned us ten years ago and never came back a single day. Fuck him. Have you still not forgiven him? I mean, why should he? I'm sure the father left the village suddenly and seldom returned to visit. Uh, apparently, from what we've heard, he never returned to visit. We were always in his thoughts. Doesn't count. Yeah, like, okay, I wasn't, like, a good dad, but, like, in my mind, I was a good dad. Huh? Huh? Does that count? You may not know this, but my skin fever medicine was sent by a father. Yes, I did know that. You knew? Mustafa. Father did more than just send the medicine. He handled virtually everything related to it, and I'm thankful for that. Yeah, that's, like, the kind of the bare minimum. But caring for one's daughter is a matter of course. It does not excuse his actions that he abandoned his family. Mustafa... See, like, Mustafa's, like, spitting straight facts, and I feel like they're gonna be like, actually, he's wrong, and you need to be, uh, more forgiving of your dad being, like, a bad dad, and, like, I am not here for it. But if they're like, no, actually, Mustafa's right, and that's the moral of the lesson, then that, that'd be kind of based. He was up and left the village one day, placing an enormous burden upon us, and you were still so young. And though he sent medicine, he never once came to see you after you caught his skin fever, and you could have died. I mean, he's spitting. My man is spitting. But I didn't, and I don't blame him for it. Uh, or you do. I know Father had important business to attend to. Yeah, like committing all those war crimes, probably. 
I never expected him to stop fighting the war and come to see me, even if I were at death's door. Well, that's just because you're fucking brainwashed. My point exactly. He cared more for matters of the state than his own daughter. Or so I thought. I've come to realize that perhaps he had another reason to leave the village and command the Dragon Knights. Take a look outside. This isn't just a Graham's problem. All of Altago is in danger. Every, but like, they weren't even, it wasn't even like a real war. It was like a commercial war. It was like to secure sea routes. There was no threat of invasion. I ain't, no. There, you can't, you're not, you can't convince me. I'm too, uh, right in everything I say. All of Otago is in danger. Every man, woman, child, animal, and monster. And one village elder can only do so much. I cannot say if that was truly his intention, but I do admit that's a possibility and a reasonable choice. And also, if that was really the truth, he would have had you guys come with him and somebody else could be the elder. You wouldn't make your, like, teenage son suddenly, oh yeah, you gotta run the entire village. I don't mind to misjudge you. You're not the impulsive hothead I begged you for. Yeah, unfortunately, he's a loser now. Again, do not misunderstand. I'm not completely forgiving him. I'm just willing to entertain the possibility. We don't have time for this. Let's focus on the matter at hand. I'll be here for a short while longer. Krushi, please do fight bravely for Adol. Do what you can to save this land. Plus, you know his ass wasn't so busy. You couldn't at least come, like, you know, once a month. I don't fucking buy it. I promise nothing of the sort. Adol, please be on your way. You need to hurry and take Krushi with you. Yeah, nah. You're not gonna gaslight me, game. Into buying into your nonsense. That it's okay to be like a shitty dad because you're like, oh, well, I thought about them. Once the situation in the city settles down, I plan to make rounds through all the villages. I thought things over with Elders Fatima, and we agreed the villages need aid just as much as the city. So, uh, I'm just here because I have some time to kill. Loose ends in the city, that's all. Got it? I mean, my ass would be there gloating. I'll never forgive him. Never! He can rot in hell! See? Most based NPC in the entire game. Hold on to your vengeance. Do not forgive. Most of the people he attacked didn't make it. A lot of them died almost instantly. Yes, that's that's dialogue. We've heard. Doctor suddenly showed up as an Iskin. Thought the Iskins all died out. Either way, who does he think he is? Ignore me when I talk to him. At least he's good at what he does. The knight's wounds are deep. So she'll need much time to rest. Okay. Her wounds are wiped her out. Sigrun, I'll take it over from here. Thanks for everything. You rest up and get better, okay? I know how much you hate just doing nothing, but it's the best thing for you right now. Where's my, uh, small child? Maybe we can't find her. The general's down. Commander is a traitor, and we need order! Can't blame him, actually. His wounds are pretty deep as well, so he could be in real danger. Had to fight, but even with all of us versus him, none of us landed a single blow. I'd be asking myself, what ifs? I don't think we could have done anything differently. All my buddies are getting slaughtered outside. I couldn't even step outside the station. I'm a coward. Well, I mean, maybe. But you're a coward that's alive. No frame drop here for once. I think it's the first time we haven't gotten a frame drop in that area. Wheel. Let's go peep that boss. See if we can at least do damage to it now and not take 3,000 a hit. It's hard to tell. I mean, damage, I mean, I would assume it's still over us, but I don't really know how the damage scaling works, right? Because we have gotten a lot of levels since then. Because when we fought him pre-Flame Sanctum, which was like 14 dungeons ago, Okay, you actually take damage now.
And you don't have that much HP. My attack, it did nothing. Yeah, yeah, okay. You didn't actually do that much damage. We're actually, I think now we're over leveled for you. You went from doing a. Yeah, because I mean, that's, that's about how much damage the last boss was doing. Just, he doesn't do eight instances of damage at once. I did not mean to do that, by the way. Okay, Mashira would be really good this fight. I'm having a hard time getting the... the hits to target properly. Like, the tracking's not great. Since he moves around so much, and she just keeps hitting in the wrong direction. Wrong move! I need to unequip that. The animation lock is just a little too spicy for a lot of the fights. I mean, it's still kind of good, but... Yeah. I mean, he doesn't really do anything. He has like a very basic pattern. Okay, don't don't roll right into the boss. Would be my. How did that miss? Why are like does it just go in a random direction? Cause like I'm letting loose of the charge attack and the aqua burst at the same time, and the aqua burst would just go in the like a random direction. Like Like, I'm holding not that direction on the controller. I mean, I guess it has to do with, like, it just... I don't know, it's something to do with, like, the auto-aim, and, like, it doesn't really track that well at a distance, which I kind of get, I guess. I mean, you're, you're dusted. I said you're dusted. Got an achievement. Okay, I mean, that one is, um... I mean, I think we're a little overleveled for it, but... I mean, he doesn't really do anything. He kind of gets, like, hard countered by ranged characters. Hey, it's me, Geiss! Bro, you don't even get the Moon Dragon's energy? Geiss can now use Fairy Annihilation! This is the energy left behind by a Tatano. Seems so. The creature's ancient energy must have been a good match with him. You should be feeling it now, guys. Well, it doesn't seem like a bad thing at all, so I say don't look a gift long by in the mouth. You're feeling intense power well enough deep inside me. I need to hold back, I guess. I'll use this power however I see fit. Is it going to be seen fit sitting in the back line and never being used because I feel like your ultimate is hot garbage? I mean, we'll maybe try and use it once. I mean, you never know. It could be good now. 
small child's ultimate was really bad at first, and then when it got upgraded, it got way better just because the duration feels like it's significantly longer. Or I was possibly just sleeping on it originally. I wonder what these are. I mean, I guess one is the Aeolius urn. Because I, mean, I thought they were going to drop from the Titanos. And one of the seals is the thing that we can buy, presumably. Oh, no, no, I guess one of those is a... Because it said seal, so I was thinking it would be one of these things. But there's only space for one more, which is the moon one. So the Grimace and the Aeolius urn. Probably. And uh, the Witch, I'm call it. The thing that gives you extra, extra gauge. And I don't really know what else. Maybe an item we get in the moon area. Because I thought we were going to get, like, orbs from the Titanos, because the first one we killed gave us this thing. I thought we were going to get, you know, something from the other two here, but it does not seem to be the case. Anybody want to talk to? Yeah, there is Dude Man, bro. I don't remember where he is, but... Talking Man? Are you Talking Man? While reading the SKN records, I suddenly found a peculiar premonition. Something is not right with the village. Uh, did I fail the quest? Was I supposed to finish that earlier? I guess I just don't have the thing. Forest Guardian Part 2. Oh yeah, I ain't doing that. Well, we did the important stuff. We killed the Titanos. And they were... Actually, pretty bad fights, to be honest. Uh, I mean, the worm was okay. He would be the best of the three. But the other, they were just like kind of, they feel like rejected boss designs. Where they're just like very basic and kind of just like spongy. Like, the worm was the most annoying, but also the most interesting. So, I guess it wins. Look at the crest that's appeared upon the altar. Makes my heart sing. In any case, it seems that possessing him will allow you to enter the Moon Sanctum. Bro, why is there water? I hate water. It's the moon, dude. Oh my god, there's two moons! Do they not have music on the moon? Is this the moon sanctum? It's beautiful. I thought I'd seen it all, but this! It sends a presence. Come on, this is like a perfect time to play uh, Tia's theme. It's like nice and light. It would fit the moon. Wait, do we just fight the moon dragon immediately? You actually kind of look like a dragon. You're very tiny. But you look the most dragony of the dragons. I mean, you look more like a Pokemon than anything. Okay, so there's just no dungeon. Which is, I'm actually a little annoyed because I feel like the moon dungeon had the most potential to be kind of interesting and unique compared to like generic it's a water dungeon it's a fire dungeon I mean I don't really know what the gimmick it could have been I mean I actually like the water dungeon overall are, are you the moon dragon? because I, I really wasn't expecting to, like, you to like attack me immediately indeed I am Zikalios the moon dragon yeah I govern the balance of Altago. You're not very good at your job. Well, yeah, it kind of got me there. <laughs> the keystone of the five dragons, the center of all Altago. Didn't expect him to show himself so soon. I guess we're actually, I mean, you're kind of like, I mean, you got more Digimon energy than a Pokemon design, if I'm being, being honest, but. Long hath been the interlude warrior since we last met at the makeshift altar. But that too was but a moment in the lives of those who have existed since the dawneth of creationeth. 
precious few have stood before me. I welcome thy arrival. This. Warrior, and everybody else. All who have come hither share the same concerns. The omen of destruction, the conduct of the Eskian Elder, and the true nature of Altago. This. That's right, we've been all over the land seeking the powers of you and your brethren. That'll eat them all. They're all dead. Wait, we weren't supposed to do that? Adol was not supposed to be full of dragon? But despite our travels, we know nothing about Altago and to say nothing of Tia. Is it possible to stop the wind of destruction? Lol, nope. That's why I'm on the moon. There's no wind here. No atmosphere. It can't fucking get me. And I'll never leave. It's not, then. Why was that all? Dragon warrior, my duty is to part the truth unto thee, which I will do after we fight, maybe. Eh, I probably actually won't do the truth part, but I will fight you. When all is in place, thou shalt surely understand. Only then shalt thou comprehend the destructive fate Altago doth faith. Bro, you know how many JRPGs I played? I get it. Ah, the world's gonna end. Kill God. I know, I know, I've been there before. Once the truth is laid before thee, it will become a thing unable to be ignored or forgotten. The choice before thee is a difficult one. Continue to play this game despite getting salty at it, or be a sensible person and just stop. I know. And granted, I would be really, uh, you know. I don't I can't even remember the last time I quit a game. I mean, it's never happened in a Let's Play. That would take some, some next level uh, anger. I've have I've joke quit games before. There there have been times where I thought I quit the game and then, you know, thirty minutes later I'm like, I'm not gonna let it fucking be I'm not gonna let this game win and then I come back and finish it even though I hate myself. That's only happened like two or three times though. Was thou accept my trial? Does thou wish to know the answers? Adult, it's okay, we can do this. Wait, Adult, you, what do you mean you said you didn't save? No! I don't know what's been going through Tia's mind all this time. Adult expresses the termination of the Moon Dragon. Ah, so it's decided then, show that thou art able. Thy soul, thy body. Thou shalt have my power only when I acknowledge thee. Okay. I've gotten no XP since the last boss, though. No, we didn't get double damage. Bro, I can't see a damn thing. Oh god, this is ice water. No, oh, it is, but we already have the things on. So just my movement feels ass. Bro, I can't see anything. What? This game was made out of hatred. I could not see those little, like, circles at all. Okay. I do kind of like how his gimmick is that he has everyone else's attacks, but they're less annoying versions. Okay. Uh... Oh god, this, those are attacks! I didn't even see them at first. I was, I kind of dodged those initial ones just like by mistake. I mean, so far this fight seems really good. Other than the, the yellow attacks that I just like, I can't see them. Like everything actually feels very 
easily dodgeable? I don't... Okay, this attack, I don't... Okay, this is actually new. I mean, the timing on that isn't atrocious. Okay, we don't want Bow Lady here, I don't think. Well, actually, maybe we do, because we're having a hard time getting close to him. Mashiro might actually rip shit here. Just for the better targeting. She has worse abilities, but her charge attack would always hit. So he locks you, okay, you can kind of see them. All right, they're a little bit more visible now that I know what I'm looking for. And not mean to do that. That one's, it, it does kind of hit you a little bit before it touches you, almost. But I think if I can get the timing down on that, bro, I don't really like the, hey, have an epileptic seizure attack. What if I hit you with a pentagram? That should do bonus damage, right? Oh. Okay, you have multiple phases. You would do that the second I use my 80 SP skill. No, pentagram doesn't actually do that much damage. It's actually probably one of the worst special abilities. Its only benefit is that it's very fast, so you don't get animation locked for, for long, but... Okay. So actually, I really like that first phase. Can I only hit your tail? Okay, so that doesn't do damage or stun me, which probably means it's like there's he has an attack that petrifies maybe? As you can see, Pentagram, it's kind of trash. So I probably shouldn't. The problem is that I feel like Swords Dance like lasts too long and I don't feel like we have like a good at all skill other than the old running slash, which is still pretty fog. I mean, I feel pretty good about this first attempt. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, that could roll in the wrong direction. That is kind of tilted the stick the wrong way. Okay, that time it stunned me. I don't really know... That didn't hit me? Okay, that fight's like really fucking good. Like initial impressions are like, that feels like the best fight in the game. Like by far. Like that, that's the most positive early impression I've had for a fight in this game. Definitely some issues with visibility, but the actual patterns for everything seem very fair. Now we'll see if how that maintains, but I actually really like that. Yeah, definitely the biggest issue though is just that it, it's, can, it's hard to see some of his shit. It's like the glare on everything just makes it like it doesn't stand out very well. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is this attack. I 
Oh god. Oh, that's a tornado. I was thinking that was the uh, other attack. What is this? Okay. The only thing is that I can't really tell what he's casting before he casts. Yeah. In hindsight, I probably should have just taken my hit. I was trying to get a guard off before we ulted, but yeah, we do not need to use Adol's ult. It is really fucking bad. It just like doesn't do nearly as much damage as everyone else. Okay, I guarded way too early there. Uh, my SP? How do we not have enough? Okay, this is this one. Okay, that is, that was very lucky. That attack seems like kind of hard to dodge. I mean, I know we just dodged it, but like that was basically by pure accident. Yeah, I didn't realize you could even do that. That's a little annoying. Instant teleporting away while I'm in the middle of an attack. I think we want to switch to Mishira. Because that attack looking like the dash when it's not, that is a little annoying. Me always missing my charge attack. Also, Fucking transition already, you asshole. <laughs> That's a funny statement out of context. <laughs> uh, uh, please, sir. Accept your true self that you are an evil dark dragon. You don't need to keep up the Sarad for me. Be yourself. Be evil. Don't let society dictate uh, what it is that you want to be or allow yourself to be. Now, I will say, having to watch this every single time, a little, little obnoxious, but... Or it will be. Uh, oh, I don't have enough juice. I thought I already had enough juice to ultimate, so I was just hitting the Y button and nothing was happening. But yeah, I think we want... Here's what we'll do. We'll, I want to do... You have a weapon, right? Is this even any good still? Like, do we have better weapons available? I don't actually know, because then we haven't... I mean, it's a new boss, which makes me think yes, but we haven't actually fought any new enemies, which is what usually unlocks them. So no. And you have the best thing, right? Any of these others sound good? Yeah, because you just don't have like a killer skill. I mean, Tornado is pretty good. Yeah, I think we want to try Mishira. Now we will 
need to grind with her because she's a little under leveled. But before we do that, let's do a couple attempts just to see if I if I like the feel of her. Because I feel like her charge attack auto homing. That seems really good because it's kind of hard to hit with Aisha's. Well, what do we want? We probably just want to give you like a Vit Belt. I think you benefit more from it than keep. Because we're probably going to try and use your skills. I like Meteor Smash. I think it kind of stunlocks you for a little too long though. Do I like any of these others? Not really. Yeah. All right. Let's do a couple attempts with uh, Chickadee. Well, I guess we have to heal. But initial stocks actually are very high on this fight. Or initial impressions. Well, you probably want to get you to at least 48. Granted, I guess we're mainly using you just to, for the SP, less for your actual damage output, because we'll probably want to still switch to Chickadee for her skill, because she's the... She does the most damage. Okay. I was just kind of I was just kind of spamming there. What is this? Okay, I thought that was the supercharge. All right. I thought those had dissipated. Did do 500 damage. Just what the kids might say, uh, a little ludicrous. I don't even know what hit me. The only problem with the fight, the visibility. It's a little, it seems, that seems better in the second phase at least. How much damage do you see? Okay, like a thousand. I mean, it, like, costs, like, 30% more than chickadees and does, like, a third of the damage. It is very low risk, though. Ah, oh, shit, you don't have enough SP. Thankfully, it's not a number or nothing. What is this? Okay, it's fireballs. I'm just like, I keep switching the wrong direction. Okay, double tornadoes. A little annoying. So got my crits? Nah. God, that attack is, uh... What is this? Okay, this is, that's lightning. He has so many attacks and they all look kind of similar. It's hard for me to keep track. This is the first time he's done- Oh, fuck you! Okay, that's a little bull. Okay, so if you're not at the right spot there, that shit becomes much harder to dodge. Because they don't overlap. But, I mean, that attack costs, like, more than chickadees and does half the damage. Make it make sense.
you could you could really let me skip this. And we're 55 minutes already. Okay, so we'll probably end the video after this uh, attempt. We'll come back with a couple more levels and do this some more. But overall, I will say, may maybe the game is slightly winning me back because I do. I'm really enjoying this fight so far. Only problem. I would like to be able to see the attacks, which this phase is better about. It's still... All right. I was having a hard time getting the mash. Because I'm still holding, like, holding X and then kind of mashing square at the same or circle at the same time is a little hard but or like my finger can slip so I wasn't rolling as fast as I needed to for that attack all right so yeah definitely actually kind of enjoying that fight we'll see maybe my enthusiasm will fade if I die to it a bunch but right now other than just like do, do they do they have different eyes Ch ch check him eyes and uh, uh sclera because like i just don't see how you don't change the visibility on some of this stuff i'm like i don't know maybe it's just me but i feel like there's no way because i feel like i've never really had an issue with like seeing shit in games like even in games where like i feel like i see other people complain i'm like i don't know seems fine to me but here I'm like, I cannot see half the attacks because they're just colored in such a way that they blend in with the environment. It was like that glare, but yeah. So we'll get, we'll get Mashira up some levels and see what we can do. It is kind of funny that our first attempt was by far our best one, but uh, yeah. I am ExtraCheesy87. Stay tuned for the next part and bye guys.